new treatments for chronic kidney disease what's on the horizon hello and welcome to our channel in this video we'll be discussing the latest developments in the treatment of chronic kidney disease or ckd ckd is a long-term condition that can cause kidney damage and in severe cases can lead to kidney failure the kidneys play a vital role in filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood and when they become damaged it can result in a range of complications, including high blood pressure, anemia, and bone disease. However, there is hope on the horizon as new treatments are being developed that may improve outcomes for people with CKD. Segment 1. Stem Cell Therapy Firstly, let's talk about one of the most promising treatments for CKD, stem cell therapy. Stem cells have the ability to transform into various types of cells in the body, making them a powerful tool for regenerative medicine. In the case of CKD, stem cells could potentially repair or replace damaged kidney cells, improving kidney function. While this treatment is still in the early stages of development, there have been promising results from preclinical studies. Segment 2. New Medications Secondly, a new class of drugs called Hifprolar hydroxylase inhibitors, or HIF-PH inhibitors, are being investigated for their potential to treat CKD. These drugs work by stabilizing hypoxia-inducible factors, which are proteins that help the body adapt to low oxygen levels. By stabilizing these proteins, HIF-PH inhibitors can improve the oxygen supply to the kidneys and potentially slow down the progression of CKD. Clinical trials are currently underway to determine the safety and effectiveness of these drugs. If you need more information on CKD visit our website at kidneytree.com. Segment 3, Gut Microbiome Another area of research in CKD treatment is the gut microbiome. Recent studies have shown that the composition of the gut microbiome can impact kidney function and there is growing interest in developing treatments that target the gut microbiome to improve CKD outcomes. One approach is to use probiotics or prebiotics to promote the growth of beneficial gut bacteria. Another approach is to use fecal microbiota transplantation to introduce healthy bacteria into the gut. While these treatments are still in the early stages of development, they show promise in improving kidney function. Segment 4 CKD and AI. Finally, there is ongoing research into using artificial intelligence AI, to improve the diagnosis and treatment of CKD. AI can be used to analyze large amounts of data, such as electronic health records, to identify patterns and predict outcomes. This can help healthcare providers make more informed decisions about CKD treatment, which can lead to better outcomes for patients. While AI is not a treatment itself, it has the potential to revolutionize how we approach CKD care. In conclusion, there is hope on the horizon for people with CKD as new treatments are being developed. Stem cell therapy, HIF-PH inhibitors, gut microbiome treatments, and AI are just a few examples of the exciting research underway. While these treatments are still in the early stages of development, they offer the potential to improve outcomes for people with CKD and may one day lead to a cure. As always, it's important to speak with your healthcare provider to determine the best course of treatment for you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.